Dolly and Sparkles here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite sunless tanning products. Oh yeah. I'm going to talk about everything from mousses to gradual tanners to face stuff to what you need to do to repair. So I'm going to go through the whole thing of favorites as well as my tips, tricks, and things that I do. This has been quite a journey for me to test out and try a ton of different self tanning products because I wanted to make sure I tried them a few times before I reviewed them and told you guys about them because I don't want to tell you about something that I've only used once or twice because that's just not how I am. I want to make sure I really like it before I say anything about it. So you can trust me when I say that I like these things. I mean, you might not like them because you might have a slightly different skin tone than I have, so it might not work the same for you or you have a different skin type, but hey, at least I'm giving you my honest opinion and that's what matters, right? I'll give a couple of disclaimers first off right here at the front of the video, the video, the video, and that is that I am not sponsored by any of the brands mentioned. The only thing that I do need to say is that one of the brands kindly sent me a couple products to try and that was because I asked them if I could try them and they didn't require a video, they didn't require me to say anything, so all of this is my 100% honest opinions and truth, 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 because I, I don't like watching videos where I can tell the person isn't being totally truthful, so I will always be truthful with you guys. You, I got you, okay? I got you. Along the same lines, another brand, when I asked them about it, I will identify as we go along, has given me a coupon code for you guys, and I am getting zero profit, nothing. Nothing if you use the code. Anything, any links I put in the video in the description are honestly just for your benefit. I get zero, zip, zero. I really wish I would though, you know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? <laughs> I wish, okay? I will always, always be honest if anything's ever sponsored or anything. There you are. Moving on! Quickly, I would like to say that I am a huge advocate for awareness of skin cancer and for the damage that sun can do to the skin. I used to lay out in the sun all the time. I never really paid it much mind until I did research and learned things in school from documentaries. Now I know that I need to protect my skin, which is why when I wanna just feel like a bronze goddess, because why not, I turn to sunless tanning. Now that's my other main disclaimer, I guess, in this video is no, I'm not unhappy with being pale. I embrace my skin color because I feel like that's important for every single person to do. Me, I just want to feel like I've been to the beach and I'm a beach bum. Like, this, well, not a bum, but you know, I'm just like a beach girl. That's what I want to feel like. In the winter when it's gloomy outside here in Chicago, I just want to feel like I'm at a beach. Is that so much? No, that's it. That's it. That's all I gotta say about that. Now with that long prelude out of the way, we're gonna move into the things that I actually enjoy. Something that I really like are gradual tanners. Simplicity of it, you just take your shower, exfoliate, and you put a lotion on. You gradually get tanner every time you use it. That's so nice. I love that concept. So there are a couple of brands that I recommend in that category. Let's start off with that first. The gradual tanner that I started out using is this one. It is from Bondi Sands. Oh, oh, oh. It smells heavenly. I didn't think I I would be a huge fan of something that was so scented, but it's really, it's just so calming. It's a very calming cocoa butter scent. I just want to smell it now, actually, to be honest, to be honest. This is something that you apply after a shower every day. You can use a mitt. That's how I apply it. I might blend it in with a brush if it's like my neck area or any drier areas on my body. So really like this. I just hit myself in the face with it. Oh. To disclaimer, this is one of the things that was sent to me to try out, to review. I asked to try it out and I got it and now I'm reviewing it and I wasn't asked to make a video. If I had hated it, I would not have talked about it. So I like it. Yes, I do, I do. I use I used all that. I like it. The scent though. Mm, good. And the scent doesn't change. I don't smell different later on. You know how some things change? This doesn't do that. All about that. Almost exactly the same product, but I purchased it myself with my own hard-earned coin, is this one. Bondi Sands Gradual Tanner that has an SPF in it. This one I bought specifically because I wanted to be able to use it in the summery time or when I'm when it's warmer and I can have some ex skin exposed to the elements, you know what I'm saying? It's exactly the same as that one, it's just with the SPF. In the same category is the Face Gradual Tanner from Bondi Sands. I really actually like this one a lot. It is moisturizing, it doesn't have a fragrance to it because I have sensitive skin, so that makes me a happy camper, and I've used it multiple, multiple times. One Gradual Tanner that's left. It is this one. It's the Saint Tropez Gradual Tanner. This is the light medium shade, and for me, I feel like this is the most natural gradual tanner that I have. The others are great. I love them. They 
they don't look fake by any means, but I feel like this is the most real. You know what I'm saying? Those are real, but this is the realest. The fragrance of this one isn't like a cocoa butter or a tropical scent. It smells more like a perfume. My bed sheets will smell like this after I use it, and I highly recommend that. This works great applied with mitt, and then I go over it with a blending brush, which I'll talk about in just a moment. So yeah, that's it. All of my St. Tropez mitts are dirty. I have three of them and they're all dirty because I love that mitt. I have a very small version of it, which is great for applying to feet, face, hands. You can also do touch-ups with this. Yeah, very versatile. I like it. And then the item that will change your self-tanning game forever. Blending brush. No, I didn't really come up with this idea. It's from Jacqueline L. I bought the Morphe M439 brush on her recommendation and I really like it for blending in the lotions and mousses. I do know there is a bigger version of this now available, which I will get. I have two of them so that one of them I can use for self tanning and the other I can use for my foundation. Yeah, that's how much I like this brush. But you don't need this brush necessarily. Just get a very densely packed brush. Bristles about yay long and you're good to go. I mean, if you can get a bigger, fuller brush and like cover more area, Props. I want to know what brush you got. Okay, you want to get into the heart and meat and potatoes of this, don't you? Yes, you do. Okay, so let's get into the mousses. The first mousse that I'm going to talk about is the Bondi Sands mousse, the dark version, and I was sent that product. I asked to be sent it, and I'm not being paid in any way other than that I got the free product. I wasn't even asked to make the video. I said I would if I liked it, so I like it, so I'm talking about it. To give you a little bit more information about this product, it is in this bottle. It's a coconut scent technically, but I think it smells just like the other one. I mean, maybe it smells a little different, but I, I think it smells the same. It applies wonderfully. It does take a bit longer to dry, but that's maybe because I applied two coats of it because I wanted to be real dark that time. It gives a very natural cell tan. Fades very evenly. This is very nice. It lasts for quite a long time. I highly recommend. Good stuff. Loving Tan and Ultra Dark. Everybody and their mother on YouTube has talked about this. And of course I wanted to try it. This is what I'm wearing right now. I really like it a lot. The only thing though is I think I want to get the two hour express version in dark just so that it's much shorter time to wear it, you know, before you wash it off. When I got multiple compliments on people thinking that I went to Arizona to visit my parents because of how tan I was, says a lot about this product. It is very natural, highly recommend. You can look a little funny, you know, when you put it on and you haven't washed off the bronzer yet while it's developing, but I haven't really noticed that. I actually went to work like that and got compliments anyway, so win-win. I have one more mousse and that is this, the Saint Moritz mousse in dark. Of the three that I talked about, this is the least expensive. It's just a notch below the Bondi Sands and I only say that because it doesn't last as long. Still great color, just doesn't last quite as long. But that's fine because it's less money. The scent of this one is quite a bit more regular self-tanning kind of smell, but not bad. It's not offensive. I don't really find self-tanning smells to be offensive in the first place, but if you are sensitive about it, give it a sniff before you buy it. The next products are products that are going to gradually maintain your tan or help fix areas that look a little blotchy, that you mixed up, you messed up a little bit, they're going to help out. I have tried multiple different ones and some help more than others, but all the ones I'm going to mention I would recommend trying out because again, everybody has a different skin tone so things will work differently for different people. I'll start out with my favorite. This is the St. Tropez One Night Only Wash Off Face and Body. It's great for touch-ups, but it's also great if you just want to do an all-over, you know, one night only, like it says. The color is great. It's very bronzing, but it's a natural bronze. It's not going to make you look funny. Not much shimmery glitter going on here, so this is very, very handy. But that one washes off you know, if you take a shower. If I'm feeling I want a bit of glam, a little bit of glitz, the L'Oreal Sublime Luminizing Bronzer Instant Action Lotion. This is glittery, I'm not gonna lie. It's glittery, but that's why I bought it, to give me some, some glamour. The next face on this tanner that I'm gonna mention is a bit pricey, but I feel like it's equivalent to the other face product that I mentioned from Bondi Sands. This is the Dior Bronzing Face Gel. This is nice though, luxurious. So if you if you have the pennies to shell out for it, do it. But if you don't, get the Bondi Sands ones, just you'll be fine. The reason I bought that high-end one is because I have sensitive skin and I thought that that would be more appropriate for my skin, that my skin would tolerate it better. All the things I've mentioned don't bother me. Don't bother me. I don't think I said that very clearly. All right, I will give you the lowdown on all the things that you could possibly need to know about self-tanning that I have found so far. Thus far, 
you need to take a shower, shave, and exfoliate. Those are things that people already know, right? But the time frame, that is something that I have figured out through trial and, trial and error. So, the best thing to do is to take a very luxurious bath. It doesn't have to be like expensive, just take a bath. Take a bath, soak, and when you, you, you shave, you wash, you can use a loofah with your regular body wash, and then you bust out a scrub. It can be any kind of scrub you want, whatever works for your skin. I use the one that uh, Kathleen Lights recommended, the Tree Hut Lime one. This one. See how it's nearly gone? This is my second tub. I like it. I like it a lot. So I use a scrub and really scrub my elbows and knees and feet. The only time you don't really want to exfoliate is after you've applied your mousse for a few days or as long as you want to, you know, maintain that glow. That will get rid of it, you know? That'll make it look blotchy. If you exfoliate like a couple of days after you apply your tan, it'll just look weird. So trust me, don't do that. Shave, then exfoliate. After that, what you want to do is apply lotion everywhere. Apply it from head to toe. I mean, use whatever you use on your face. Be very, use a lot of it, just everywhere, okay? And then don't apply the mousse that day. Don't, just don't. So you do what I just said about the bath and the lotion and then the next day, or at least, you know, do that in the morning and then at night you can do the self tanning. I guess that's as close as I would personally put it. Because if you don't, sometimes when you shave and you can get little dots on your leg. It's not cute, it's not cute. That's why you wait and you let the pores shrink. Another trick is you use cool water at the end of your showers because it helps to close the pores, right? Because think about it, often when beauty people tell you you wanna open your pores, what do you do? Steam, warm water. So, cool water will help close the pores. Yes, I got you. So, when you've taken your second shower, like the next day after you've shaved, I would definitely recommend applying a moisturizer or a body butter thickly and liberally. Liberally. You may think, oh, I'm putting way too much on. No, it's fine. That's where you want to be. They want to be like, mm, it's a little too much, I think. I think it's a little too much. You want to put, at least for me, I put the lotion till about here because when you're wearing the mitt, sometimes this part of your arm can get a little bit of extra tanning on it. And that's, that's not good because then you got weird stuff that you gotta work out later, right? And you wanna put it on your elbows and on your knees and on your ankles. I've tried a few lotions on my hands, but I still end up with my hands being a lot darker than everything else. And that's because I have very dry skin. I have eczema, so my skin just, my hands normally don't love the self tanner. But I tried this body butter and it has made it so much easier and just wonderful. The body butter that I'm talking about is this one. This is the lemon buttercream scent of the Blissful Bodies body butter. I use this on my hands up to about here. I use it on my elbows and my, my knees and my feet before I apply the sunless tanning mousse. And I'm really glad I found it right now because winter is starting and that's when my skin gets very dry so this is gonna make sunless tanning possible for me in the winter so that i can feel like it's summer when i look in the mirror but it's not summer it smells so cool i like talking about this stuff because it's just fun i don't know i get a kick out of it so i hope you guys have a great new year it is 2016 yes so yeah i will talk to you all in my next video bye wait 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 I don't want to say it. <sighs> Attractive. Okay, take three. I just realized I had some face oil under my nail, making my nail green. Or maybe it was guacamole I had Chipotle before I found this. The culture, the culture, the content. Okay, light, chill out. It's fine. Mix. Hold on. Wait. How do I just explain this?